Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. I am here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Wednesday, almost noon. It's about 11:30. We've uh, we've been out all morning. We dropped the kids off at of school. We had a little breakfast, and then we went to the gym, got our coffee, and we're back here to start working. And Kathy's working on. Um, a viewer sale that came in while we were at the gym. Yeah, so we'll pull all the sales in a bit, but this one, a viewer bought five items, and instead of me trying to, like, <laughs> calculate them all, because I do keep each weight separately in my spreadsheet, yeah. I could, like, calculate it, but we'll just pull them real quick and put them in a box and see what it weighs. Yeah. Um, that would be the easiest. So, X. So we'll pull all this stuff and then we have other stuff we're working on this morning and we'll probably get that done before we end up pulling the rest of the sales. Her babies are in there? Yeah, <laughs> one, I think she only had one baby. Oh, her baby. Thank you so much, Jane. <laughs> uh, I don't have the total. I guess I do. Um, no, I don't have the total here. So okay. <laughs> I'll tell you all that when we'll we figure it all out, and then we'll get we'll revisit. I guess. Now this is like how I would do a big bundle. Like how kind of in our last video we mentioned, very randomly do I pull out an item before I print the label? Like right. those I didn't pull any of those items out before the, I that stack of labels, right? There, yeah. Right there, yeah. <laughs> I just sit here. My spreadsheet tells me how much something weighs, so I just print the label, knowing she how much it weighs. Adds in the packaging. So I know what it's gonna yeah, yeah. fit in. Um, but yeah, when there's a bundle, sometimes it's just easier to pull it all out and then do this. So. Yeah. It's certainly easier than adding pounds and ounces and all that fun stuff. So. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a pretty good. Looks box. like it should all fit in there. Obviously, we will pack things in, you know, in other bags inside there. We like to at least put a bag around everything. Yes, so right now we are just over five pounds. So yeah, if we... I might be able to shave that right, down with some tabs. Right, but then if we add bags or something. So it's mm. probably a six pound rate, which yeah. is... Honestly, once you like pass the two pounds, it's not much more per pound. Right, we kind of like, um, if it'll save us like $2, We'll we'll try to trim it down, cut it down. If it's only going to be like seventy five cents or a dollar, we'll uh, we'll just bump it up. Um, six pounds. Jane lives in California. Uh, so for six pounds is seventeen ninety eight. I might message her because I could do UPS for twelve seventy one. Okay. Which is five dollars. Give less. a little so savings. Like, and I think she wants it. I, I feel like she would rather have. Save yes, like five yeah. bucks, yeah. Um, so we can message her, give her the option. Yeah. Otherwise, so seventeen ninety eight. How much is a large flat rate? Because I never really use those, but like, I think it's like twenty something, mm. uh, eighteen sixty three. So that'd be a little more, but just giving you guys options. Right. Like if you're ever doing something like this. If you have something about that yeah. size that's if heavy. If was going to like New York, that'd be a lot more expensive, and a large flat rate might have been a better option right. if I could stuff it all in. But yeah, otherwise, FedEx is like 16 something. So our best bet is going to be either just paying the $18 or, um, yeah, doing going U to UPS. UPS, which, so yeah. I will In which case, we would have to use our own box, which we do have some. Yeah, that wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, we have eBay boxes. Um, but those boxes do weigh different. So at least we six pounds, we should six, be, yeah. yeah. We have about a pound to work with, so. That's what we're gonna do on that. So we'll give Jane a message. Jane, thank you so much for your support. So we do appreciate that. Um, I was surprised to see that when I was I was on the treadmill this morning yeah. and I saw that the puppy <laughs> surprise. Was it. it was funny. I feel like you mentioned that just a few days ago. I did, yeah. Have that because you, I think, were putting on our sale for the month. Yeah. And saw it maybe. So yeah, we still had it. I thought it was cute. Yeah. I had to pick it up. So. I thought it was kind of like a, a nightmare. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a, I'm just joking. I'm sure I had one when I was a kid or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I think it's cute. 
But other than that, we've got some shoes. These are ready to get bagged up and put away. Kathy yeah. photographed all those. These are stuff I bought over the last few days and I typed them in our spreadsheet. I just didn't, Chris will take the numbers off for me and then those will be my listings for today. Yeah. So, I really should work on that table of clothes, which I will try to What table? Well. We have a few hours. What so it's have. actually not too bad. No, I mean, I it's yeah, just like it, a... It just needs photographs. Yeah. So once I get that off, it'll be good. So yeah, yeah, hopefully by the next time we pop back in here, you guys will see all this cleaned up. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we're watching the Trash to Cash yeah. podcast <laughs> that came out yesterday. And I've kind of got the Apple event kind of playing on my <laughs> monitor over there. Just... I'm probably getting the new phone just because my phone is old and the screen's broke and <laughs> it's what we use to record all these videos. So yeah. it's, is that a write off? Can I write the whole thing off? Do I have to write some? I don't know. We'll figure it out, <laughs> but I do need a new phone. It's been a few years. Yeah. So I'm just kind of peeking in on that, but that's what we're going to be working on. We'll come back when this is all done or I guess whenever we have something <laughs> else to say and we'll get picking some sales a little bit later. <laughs> Hey, baby. You see how he just looked over at those I treats. <laughs> you want a treat? Last few, then we can have gingerbreads for the rest of the season. <laughs> right. Good boy. All right, go lay down. He's going to keep begging for treats. We'll be back in a little bit, guys. All righty, guys, we are back. We've got these shoes that were down here all bagged up. I've gotten all the numbers taken off of shoes i think 15 shoes but then we decided to do another 15 so that we can kind of we were just already rolling <laughs> might as well do tomorrow's while we were at it so we did that and we're just ready to start picking some sales but we did have this um package come in from a viewer so we're gonna open it on camera and see what we got <laughs> we're gonna have like a it doesn't a, say a name yeah i didn't see a name on there <laughs> um so. we're gonna have to start a segment like mail time or something <laughs> Ginger male. Oh, I think it's a, a shirt for you. A shirt for me? <laughs> so they like saw our video, like when we were talking about the shirt, getting a shirt for Flipcon, like a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, yeah. Um, and I probably mentioned I love toucans and stuff like that. <laughs> so they, uh, this is from Brooke and Will, and they said they found it in the bins. So how fun. Awesome. And yeah, it, it probably will fit you. Um, so, yeah. They obviously knew you weren't going to get it for Flipcon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They wanted to send it. Thank well, you. awesome. That's so nice. It's a super cute. I do love two cans. Yeah. Yeah, open up. Let's see it. Hey. Oh, and she said that, uh, she stored, she did our, her bags like we do. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I did think it was a very professionally yeah, packed shirt. So cute. Toucan shirt. Awesome. I'm going to make him wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for so sending much. that. That is awesome. We appreciate it <laughs> very much. I need shirts. <laughs> I'm always yeah. like, where's one? I need a new shirt. I always check his size whenever I go to the thrift. But yeah. There's only ever one or two things, and then he doesn't like it or doesn't want it, and then I have to return it. So. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So let's get picking. We do have some coffees we're going to thank for a little bit later, but we're going to start picking now. Okay get to the meat of the video right dc yeah. dc all right this is a stella mccartney little baby romper like a sweater romper bought at once upon a child for four dollars forty cents sold it on posh for twenty dollars that was an offer someone sent i accepted i'm gonna do a foldy box on that and this is actually two days worth worth yeah. of sales. We didn't so. pack or ship anything yesterday, mm -hmm. which was Tuesday. Yeah. We did early <laughs> in the morning, right? Because yeah. it was the holiday. So this is basically from Tuesday late morning on to right now, which is Wednesday at about 1.30. Yep. Uh, so the purple people eater. <laughs> the, oh yeah, the purple people eater. <laughs> Can I play the song or is that like a... Uh, play like two seconds of it. Well, I don't <laughs> so <laughs> she's stopping it. It does work. It plays yeah. through the whole song. Um, but yeah, we just don't want to get any kind like... of demonetization or anything <laughs> like that. So I don't know if that song is copywritten or whatever, you but... You never know. <laughs> you never know. Uh, so yeah, this I actually bought, I feel like, around last Halloween and I just left it in a death pile. Finally, only because I had like this tiny little spot that I was like, I'm just gonna wipe that or try to wash it off before I sell it because I thought it was gross, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. 
Anyways, I got it off and yeah, listed it up. I don't remember what I paid for it because apparently I never typed it in my spreadsheet. I think it was like two ninety nine, yeah, or maybe three ninety nine max. Um, our kids were playing with it the day we bought it. That's the only reason I even bought it because they were with us at the thrift store. I do remember that, and they yep. always want to get something. So I was like, you can get this and then I'll sell it. So, <laughs> anyways, they played with it for like a minute. Sold it for fourteen ninety five plus shipping. It sold really fast. I think I listed it in the last week. So. They definitely played with it for more than a minute, though, because I know that song played for yeah. <laughs> over and over and over. <laughs> How much did he weigh again? It was also funny because as Kathy was photographing and getting ready to list that, uh, I don't remember which one it was, but one of the Trash to Cash guys oh, yeah. mentioned <laughs> literally the same flying day, purple like, people eater. Right? Listing it after a year, they just yeah. happened to be talking about it on their podcast. It was super. Like, just one of those situations yeah. where it just happened. I think this is a good box, a shoebox, or... It's not posh, so, like... Yeah, I think I we can squeeze to, them in there. I could probably do it. We'll bag them and put them in the box. So, if not that, probably the O box or whatever that's called. Okay, CK, a pair of Chacos. These, I did pay up for. They're Chacos, but they're not, like, the typical, like, the strappy sandals. These are, like, a closed toe. I, I like these a lot, um, but they were $20 at the thrift, and that's a lot to pay for Chacos. They, I feel like they've been going down in value, but they're in really good shape, cute pattern. I figured I could double my money, and I did. Um, they sold for $54.95 plus ship, I'd say in less than a month. Okay. Yeah, they weren't on even our 10% off sale, so they yeah. have been listed less than 30 days. So I doubled my money. I think I made like a $25 profit on those. Very nice. And we're going to go in a padded flat rate. All right, BZ. That's something I wouldn't have done years ago. Spend twenty dollars on shoes to hopefully double my money on, but right. now I can kind of. I'm good at guessing if it's gonna sell. Obviously, not everything yeah. does, but. That was before we kind of knew and understood sell-through rate and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So, um, back when we were just buying on brand and style and not understanding how long things could take to sell, yeah. which. And now I just take more chances than I probably would have used yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. I did sell these Nike Fly Knit for $31 plus shipping. Bought them for $9.99. They are just a women's like five and a half. So Fly Knits, you can usually get about at least 44, but women's five and a half. I was happy to accept 31. And we'll take a mailer on those. Is this video going up today or tomorrow? Um, If not today, then tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not so exactly like, sure. The reason I'm saying is because, well, these are magical mailers, but oh, right. the Shipping Hit Fall Collection does come out tomorrow. On so Thursday. I think they have three or four new patterns that are cute. Like, obviously, we got the Halloween ones. They still have those, but this is like, you know, these are ones you can use for like several months gotcha. going forward. Like More seasonal versus leaves and stuff like holiday. that. Holiday, yeah. So, anyways, if you're seeing this today... Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. It's <laughs> tomorrow. And sixth? if you're seeing this Thursday, then you can order the poly mailers that day <laughs> if you need any or want any. Yeah. Um, and we have our code down below, which is just ginger15. So. Yeah. Definitely go follow Shipping Hip on Instagram. That would probably be the fastest way yeah. to know whenever they drop. Yeah. Um, and then you can always use the code ginger15. Oh. I just went back to the same box. Oh, you forgot, forgot to, to drop the label. <laughs> okay, so that's that label. And then so. top of shelf. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted whatever no, you No, I think talking. I had finished what I was saying. Okay. <laughs> um, just, yeah, you could use the Ginger 15 if you're following them on Instagram and whenever it drops. So. Yeah. All right. So these are some kids' Columbia boots. Got these at the bins, so $1.97 into them. Sold on Posh for $36 with discount shipping. So look, some snow boots at this time. And those. Probably do like a regional B box, maybe. Did you step on it? No. I, bu I backed into the you table. Like a... That was me backing oh, into okay. the table. <laughs> I thought he was like sighing or something. I didn't bump into this guy. Not that guy. What about that guy? Okay. <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. A.D. This is a Bowden wool skirt, pencil skirt. I bought this at the bins for two oh nine. I have an extra number on here, so like that's why I looked confused. Because oh. it sold on Kitizen, so twenty five free shipping, and I wrote the shipping price because I used Pirate Ship instead of Kitizen, and it was three eighty eight to send that out through Pirate Ship. Okay. 
So. Are you using pirate ship more and more often on now? Kitazan, I am just because to avoid the, the sendle. It just seems like the sendle. Just like reading on the Hello Kitties and Facebook group, there's just like always troubles going on. Yeah. And so I just try to stay away from any troubles that could happen. Yeah. So I'm just doing them on my own, even though I know I've always said like use their labels and stuff but right i take it all back <laughs> <laughs> well it does save you money but does it save you stress i right? don't know if it saves me money even because like even though the label was 388 it would have been 450 through kitizen but then i'm paying a bigger fee you know right and then so i have to the type same. in the tracking i have to type out the whole label myself so it's taking me time if if any savings it's like maybe 25 cents at the most to use the pirate ship Right. Right. So I might save 25 cents, but then I have to type it all myself, which takes at least a minute or two. Yeah. And then input the tracking. Hopefully I don't input it wrong because then it won't track and I won't get paid. Uh, I mean, without then having them email customer service and say like, oh, I put in the wrong tracking. Right. So. But then you're also, you're avoiding the issues that we've been having with Sindel where the barcodes don't scan. Yeah. So that's the main reason I'm doing it is. Less for any sort of savings, but more for just a peace time of mind. Savings, and right. yeah, like the Sendle ones, we always waited in line at the post office, which our post office doesn't usually have a line, but sometimes it does. Still, yeah. yeah, it's still more seconds or minutes than we would have to wait otherwise. And we're getting to that time of year where the post office is going to start being really busy, busy every day, yeah. and all we want to do is just drop, drop and it go, off. So. So, yeah. in a way, it's kind of saving time, even though it's taking a little bit more time up front. So, I mean, I say that, and like, I haven't actually had any actual problems other than the tracking took forever to ever show up and right it, the package took a while to get there but like i haven't had to refund anyone it's just just stress that doesn't at time happen, you get so. you get messages from the buyer hey yeah. have you shipped it yet yeah i shipped it five mm -hmm. days ago it hasn't tracked yeah. they don't believe you you know that that is <laughs> right. unnecessary so. so other than that like if you i'm not saying don't use kid as a label so just use your best judgment right. whatever is more important to you is it the time savings the money savings or whatever right all right. All right. So these clogs, uh, the brand is Cal, I don't know, C A L C E O. Calico? I mean, it doesn't, I don't know. Is that how you spell I don't know. I was, <laughs> I'm probably not. Anyways, uh, bought these Calico. for $7.99 and sold them on Mercari for $46 plus shipping. Hey. Um, I never heard of the brand. They just reminded me of Birkenstock type clogs. Yeah. And usually, like, Anything with like a print, like a floral, or yeah. um, we had those elephant ones. That they I was gonna say on. those remind me of the elephant yeah, ones. Yeah, I got them the same day. They were probably owned by the same person. Mm. They probably should fit in there. They are under a pound, so that's why they're going out in a mailer. Okay, BH. This I was just so happy finally sold. I swear I've had these for over two years. Lily Pulitzer, just like in. Just a plain short, I guess. I think they're called the like. It doesn't really say on here. Hmm. I feel like there's something for like athletic. Like a tennis short kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, like kind of like a performance stretchy short. Anyhow, I bought these at TJ Maxx, like like I said, over two years ago, probably for ten dollars, and finally sold them for nineteen ninety seven plus shipping. So. Yeah, that's another one of those Hope like. Your new owner loves you because. <laughs> It's one of those situations where we didn't understand sell-through rate. Right. Just saw Lily Pulitzer shorts for cheap or I whatever. Did buy a, I know I bought a few Lily pieces that day. The rest of them sold fast. They were the floral yeah. prints, blouse, dress. Yeah. Those sell great. Plain athletic shorts in a size zero, not so good. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I would definitely still buy those again, probably for like a couple bucks. Yeah. Maybe under five. Does, there's nothing that screams Lily Pulitzer though, right. right? No. So if you're doing something that's a brand following, you want it to be recognizable yeah. <laughs> without people and looking at your same label. With anything like even like Patagonia, obviously. Yeah. Well, Patagonia Cinchilla, you think of the color block ones. Yeah. They still sell forty dollars or so. Yeah. But the printed ones you can get eighty to a hundred because they're more obviously Patagonia right. and stuff like that. So. So the more obvious the brand, <laughs> the more likely it is to sell fast, I think. Yeah. What do you think, Reese? I don't think he cares. <laughs> you don't have to get up. <laughs> so this, so that, I said we picked up for eleven ninety nine on our last, well, not our last video, but our last video where we were like showing ourselves out and about thrifting. Right, right. Uh, paid eleven ninety nine mainly just because it was new. I like listing easy stuff like this. I figured I could at least double my money. I thought. 
I saw it sold around 30 plus ship. I was able to get 33 plus ship in less than a week. So yeah, pretty good. Did more than double my money, probably about a $15 profit, which I think was worth it. It's just a PlayStation 3 move yeah, controller. Move. So kind of like a Wii controller, but for PlayStation 3. Yeah. I think they need another accessory for the PlayStation, but, you know, that's on them. <laughs> so. so that I am going to put in a little box. I'll have to get one, but it's still going to be under a pound. So first class. And lastly, big old sale. Not really, but very happy to sell this random stuff. My Monopoly board. Oh, I was like, what is that? Board, just property cards. The whole property set. Yeah. Right. Like sealed new property cards for Monopoly so for five thirty nine plus shipping, and I have hey. nothing into these because you've already you know, made your money back. Yeah, we bought the board game, kept the cash to do stuff with our kids, and sold all the rest of the pieces off. And I've already sold a couple others, which pure profit made back the few dollars we even spent on the whole game from Goodwill. So. Sweet. That I don't think I have any more bubble mailers. Actually, I probably do in the closet. So I'll grab a bubble. <laughs> What's that? Dave's oh. face. He's just cracking up <laughs> laughing or crying. I don't know what he's I doing there. I feel like <laughs> when I paused it right here, they were talking what about... What the? The TV, the, it just turned selling off. Selling granny panties or something. And oh, Kevin, is that what he's laughing and at? I think Kevin's saying something like, you can't sell panties, which... I feel like there is a loophole that you can, but yeah, you can't sell used undies, <laughs> at least on eBay. <laughs> I'm sure there's some some secret sites on the internet you probably can but uh, not on ebay so if so. you guys want to get in on the granny panty yeah. conversation go check out trash to cash podcast yep <laughs> so all right we're gonna get this stuff packed up and then we'll be right back so yeah this is how kathy photographs our shoes lately <laughs> i know i was just looking at like Okay, so like the first one, obviously the boxes are in the background, so I just photo room out the background and it's yeah. white, but these I don't do any editing to. Like that's just the photo I took with our table. So like that's really clear and like yeah. white and nice. Like, yeah, so. not perfect white, but white enough yeah. to uh, be good enough for us, right? Yeah. <laughs> we are not perfectionists anymore. <laughs> there was a time where we white background removed yeah, every single no if photo. I was selling it for five dollars or a hundred dollars. Right. Like, now we just kind of do the first, the first uh, screenshot, and we pretty much just let List Perfectly do that too, right? So it is included with the pro version of List Perfectly, so we just use it. We did get everything packed up except for that viewer box. We did have earlier mm -hmm. i don't know did we mention that it was we were gonna do yeah we did we talked about it yeah she hasn't wrote back yet she's probably at work or something so right so um, we're gonna hold off she got today so like technically we have two day shipping now so yeah. yeah once we hear back we'll ship it right out i'm guessing she'll probably choose the ups but, but we don't want to assume that so <laughs> yeah. we'll we'll uh, hold off another day on that we did do that in the very beginning of the yeah. video if you guys remember um so we'll wait to hear back from her then. We did have a few coffees we wanted to appreciate yeah. and thank you guys for. Kathy's pulling up the screenshot. She just took a bunch of po photos, that's why. <laughs> yeah, it's way up here. Okay, so thank you so much to Kelly, Deborah, um, Lori, and Deb. That's that's so funny. We were, it's like, is this- Deb and Deborah. Yeah, like you guys, so many of you guys have the same names. I know we have a bunch of Lori's and a bunch of Debs, Debbie, Deborah. Debbie, yeah. So thank you guys all yeah, so much. Yeah, awesome. Um, these have came in probably for the last yeah. week. We just haven't. We've been slacking on that last video. Yeah. I wanted to mention them all, and it was like that Labor Day night, 10 p.m. or whatever. I was like, okay, I'm <laughs> just not gonna shipping out. But we for appreciate sure. all that support. We do appreciate all of that um, support for sure. Anything else you want to say? I was going to say I'm going to work on the board maybe. It's still in August. I've been writing a sticky note of what I've been yeah. listing so that I can update it once I get to like <laughs> already a week into September. But I've been listing. I've done not like I haven't been back to normal yet, I feel like. So which I've is done, 15 a day, which is our normal. Right. So it's technically we're on day seven. I should have 105 listings up already. And I have 20, 10, 15, and 13. So 20, 30, 45, uh, 60. Minus two. Not 105. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> you know, I was only going to yeah. list 15 a day. I might list more. I've already photographed these so far for today. Shoes are super easy, so I could list 30 pairs in like an hour or two, but yeah. do I want to or do I want to save them and just have more listings go live each day? I don't know. It's always a 
yeah. I can never decide. So yeah. <laughs> I'll probably try to list as many as I can today just because tomorrow we might not get any listings up because it's our Thursday, do whatever day. Yeah, so. we do have lives on Thursdays. I have decided I'm going to edit and attempt to get this video up today, <laughs> Wednesday. Right. Um, just because tomorrow is our live. We kind of forgot about that. Yeah. We don't like to put a video up on our live day because um, they kind of compete with each other. Um, so if it doesn't go up today, it would have to be Friday. And I don't want to push this video back that far. So. Plus, we already mentioned shipping happened, saying it'll be Wednesday. That's or true. We've got so <laughs> then many. Then we will have confused them. So <laughs> We've got so many comp video yeah. up, Even if it's at like 11 p.m. <laughs> this video is going up today, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We are going to get this stuff off to the post office. It is a little bit earlier. It's about 2:30, so I've given myself about an hour, maybe even less, to get this video up and. Yeah, that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for all of the support. We do appreciate it all. And thank you so much for watching. Again, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.